What is this? <laughs> Chocolate donut. Welcome back to Stall Racing Vlog out here at Whiteland Raceway Park for a Friday night race. Uh, my wife's on a girl's trip. I had the day off. Grandma and Uncle Ben are hanging out with Finley. And so dad came with me to do some uh, proper practice to take away my excuse that I had last time. So if you watched the last Whiteland vlog, I leaned heavily on only having one practice session on the track before racing. So we're gonna take that away. And uh, you know, if I still do bad, you guys can point and laugh at me and um, Ben will be right there with you. Ben's uh, cart from last year. He still has that laying around. Um, it's kind of nice to have, uh, uh, I guess you would call it a beater cart to run out here. Not that it's a rough track, it's just a little bit more bouncy than, uh, than Newcastle. And it's more of an elbows out kind of place, so it's nice to have not my new shiny cart um, running out there. So, gonna go out and get some practice. Keep you guys updated. Okay, so I've gotten a couple practice sessions under my belt. Cart, as always, is great. Uh, driver needs some work. Uh, they're running open tires um, out here this weekend because they run Bridgestones, but Bridgestones getting out of the game and the supply is gone to zero. So now they've opened it up. Uh, so I brought the Vega Reds from the Cup Cart Grand Nationals which I love this tire. Uh, this cart loves this tire. Um, so pretty excited about that. I don't know where it'll stack up against the other compounds. That'll be an interesting thing, but uh, trimmed off uh, a half second from my first practice session. So I'm running uh, 33.5 right now and talking to the Ghost Boys, Matt and Derek. Um, that's 33.5-ish should be should be pretty close for the uh, the master's class. So I'll go out and get a few more sessions. Try to, you know, get the driver to fix some of the little mistakes and trim off a little bit more time if I can. Here we are at our home away from home. Whiteland Raceway Park. Casey decided to race. And instead of the morning walk, it's afternoon. So I think what we'll call this and it's not quite as catchy. The afternoon, stand on the viewing mound with Dad. So I'll, I'll look forward to the intro for that thing.
But the great thing about today, one of my favorite things, I don't know why it is, but I love getting an early start on the weekend. So I put in a few hours this morning, Casey came over, we loaded up, and Friday's been a great day. Nothing like getting the weekend started early. And it doesn't get any better than when your weekend starts early and you're going to the go-kart track. Hopefully Casey can do some damage. Oh, my famous autograph, right here. Is that you? That's me. That's when I learned that you can't fly in a cart. I need to get a, a marker and sign that. So we have our practice gas that we use, just use that like, well, really every track. And uh, we only brought one jug for Whiteland gas. So we didn't have anything to do. Look at this, dad is a genius. Ford in the truck. We're here with Melvin Godsey as he's changing the gear. Melvin is the official electrician of Stall Racing. <laughs> what are you doing here, Melvin? I'm putting on the magic gear. <laughs> Winning formula. Is that what it does? That's, that's what this Guaranteed is. Guaranteed to win? Guaranteed. All right. Yeah. Good luck. I got to beat him, though. <laughs> Dad here with a hard hitting interview from Whiteland Raceway Park. Casey, you've had a full practice. How's yep. it feeling? Uh, it kind of sucks to take away my excuse of not having practice time. Um, I got better. It's a tough track. It's uh, tight and bumpy and uh, technical. I'm looking for something different, Case. This is what we get out of every vlog. Give me something different. Give me something finished. Oh, going straight and edgy. Straight to the front. Uh, gonna qualify first out here. It's a pill draw and I'm still gonna qualify first. That's what I like to see. <laughs> uh, I just give me a broom. I'm gonna give sweep it. Heat race, feature, W. That's what you come here for. And that's what you get stall racing out <laughs> okay so the open practice session ended a while ago and uh got busy you know smoking a cigar so sorry i didn't give you the update but uh i had started out today on vega reds spent most of my time on that just primarily just driving learning the track and getting better as a driver because i needed it uh but towards the end of the day I really started focusing on the car setup the Vegas just had too much grip. And so I uh, threw on the trusty MG Reds and picked up about four tenths of a second from the Vegas. Uh, really, this track has a lot of grip and so the, and it's tight. And so the key was just to, seems to be to free it up as much as possible. Uh, getting ready to go out for the first and only race practice. We got Ben here and uh, gonna go off for the first and only race practice and see where I stack up so the uh, one and only race practice is over um, there was a two-hour break between open practice and then uh, race practice and the track changed tremendously got a lot slicker not expecting that uh, so I was third fastest but there was a big gap, like four tenths plus to the front two. Um, made some changes to the cart, kind of, you know, added a little more grip back into it and uh, drop a tooth for, of gearing to uh, account for being in a pack. And uh, about to roll out for the heat race. And you know what? I don't love the idea of a pill draw, but maybe I should because this is the second time I've done it. And the second time I've started on the front row, I will start second right next to our buddy Melvin and right in front of our ghost racing brethren Derek uh, who will be in third and Derek was one of those that was four tenths faster so that'll be an interesting one uh, we have some additional crew here we got Benji Benji there's Benji Finley Regan great grandma and grandma so they're out here for a little bit at least see the heat race before they'll have to pack up um, I was feeling confident before that practice being four tenths off that was uh, that was less than ideal what do you got what do you got you want to see it doesn't work like that now you can't see it you got what is this 
<laughs> Chocolate donut. Yeah, they're so loving. It's amazing. Are you kicking rocks? He was just saying how you're loving at this age and now you're kicking rocks at me? Bro. Hopefully there's enough light here to see me guys. Uh, so the heat race just finished, started in second. Uh, first off, this track has changed massively <laughs> from the, the heat of the day to, uh, you know, the darkness of night. It, it uh, got a lot slicker. Um, I was, I, you know, I was even warned about that. I just didn't think it'd be that slick. So, uh, started in second and, uh, I knew right away the guy, the first, so first and third were faster than me. Um, definitely more confident. So I fell into third. Stayed there, um, got a pretty big gap between me and the front two. Was able to close down the gap to second place and finish right on his bumper, still in third. So I'll start third, which is actually really pretty good. I wouldn't, I don't think I would have made a move for second even if I uh, had the opportunity because the outside here um, doesn't, it's not real appealing <laughs> to me. Uh, so pretty happy with third. Um, be starting behind Derek and then uh, Melvin got, Melvin got second. So it'll be a good crew up there. And then uh, got this cool note from uh, some, some, a family that watches and it's probably going to be hard to see in this light but it says longtime youtube follower casey rules ben drools lol and that is from bentley mcclellan bentley thank you for saying it we've all been thinking it i appreciate someone finally saying it and then he finishes it off here where's the reo speed wagon but that's a reference to uh to dad's let's see previous previous cart uh the old aero 4s uh you know what bentley it's actually still in the garage um that was our first cart so i don't i can't get rid of it um even though it's dad's i am happy to let him sit on that money <laughs> so no guys thank you so much that was so cool it's good to good to have that interaction with you guys i really appreciate it just wanted to reiterate something that casey talked about already um with the note from bentley uh bentley i I'm, hopefully this is the same young man but um uh this this guy came up to me one time when i was at comet just like we were shopping for parts or something came up said hey big fan um and shook our hands um and just told us you know he's a big fan and all that stuff and so it was really awesome to get that note today um re really cool like cooler than you know and this guy's talking again that was cool then and it's still really cool now um so just really awesome i got to shake this guy's this young man's hand um assuming it's the same bentley if it's not the same bentley then i look forward to shaking your hand um next time i see you but uh just 
like Casey said, I'm sure we we really appreciate it. Um, and I might sound like I don't mean it. I'm just super tired because this race is way later than it should be. But uh, no, we appreciate it all. So uh, thank you for everything that all the people said, kind words, um, and thanks, Bentley. Made uh, made my night a lot better for sure. All right, guys, finals over. Kind of bittersweet feeling right now. Uh, so I started third and again kind of showed I don't know what I'm doing on the starts and uh, uh, you know the regular or the locals uh, showed me how it was done fell back to fourth Definitely came together better. The cart, uh, I warmed up the tires better, and you know, in the warm up, and was felt pretty strong right away. Um, so I was in fourth, pushing around good old Melvin, and then I got impatient because I was, I felt like I was, and I, I was faster than Melvin when I was behind Melvin, but I just took a number of looks. That allowed the front two to continue to check out. Had I been a little more patient, um, I think we could have stayed with them. But uh, I ended up making the move and uh, kind of, he hung around on the outside and I said, not today, Melvin. elbows out got him into the grass no that was that was not intentional it was just kind of the way the momentum was carrying me and uh, moved into third but I'm not a very good leader on this track and uh, that was pretty apparent so <laughs> the <laughs> two guys behind me just took me to school in the hairpin That was a heck of a good move. I got a lot to learn in that hairpin. And uh, so I fell back to fifth. And that's where I stayed. Um, I was there, thereabouts, you know, right there, three, four, and five in that pack. But I just stayed in fifth. Just didn't didn't quite have enough for for Melvin or Matt to uh, to move forward. So that's where it's a little bittersweet because I ended up fifth where if I would have been smart and realized, you know, you don't know this track that well, Casey, you probably shouldn't be leading the pack. Uh, you know, what could have been, I guess, is that that's all that is. So uh, fifth 
got a lot faster, was a lot closer in times. Still a lot, a long way to go. Uh, congratulations to Derek from Ghost Racing. Took the, the win and from the sounds of it, it was like an unreal move. Um, I wish I was closer to get some video of it, but uh, uh, congrats to Derek on that, that win. Um, I had a blast out here. It was awesome. Still need to find some more time and that just needs some more seat time. So, uh, won't be my last time out, won't be my last time out here at Whiteland. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you can hit the subscribe button, uh, somewhere in that area and until next time. <laughs>